A winter voice-based search with the proliferation of Amazon Echo and Google Home devices, people have become comfortable speaking to their technology. 60% of those surveyed indicated they started using virtual assistants and voice search in the past 12 months. According to Google, one-fifth of mobile search queries are now voice-based. We type 40 words per minute, we speak 150, and the returns we get when we're soliciting a response via voice usually don't include a brand and just the essentials. Voice could literally shift the entire consumer ecosystem. 2017 may be the year search interactions shift from our fingers to voices. A loser, Microsoft. We don't talk a lot about Microsoft, and it comes up consistently in the comments in our videos, specifically, why don't you mention Microsoft? And the bottom line is we don't find the company that interesting, nor do we really understand it. Our research of LinkedIn data, however, reveals that Microsoft is the number one place where other digital companies recruit. Nearly 13,000 former Microsoft employees currently work at other digital companies, including Amazon, Apple, and Facebook. The most difficult tech company to recruit from? Facebook, with only 588 departing for other firms. So which social platform wins the engagement arms race? Instagram is the dominant social platform for engagement relative to Facebook and Twitter, accounting for an impressive 92% of the social interactions for the 419 brands we examine here at L2. Yet when you add YouTube to the mix, Instagram only accounts for 42% of interactions and YouTube garners 55%. Recent changes to the Instagram algorithm have led to a decline in the platform's organic reach. Our research here at L2 indicates that posting frequency on Instagram is up by brands year on year. However, interactions for every 1,000 followers has decreased a whopping 30%. Could we be at peak Instagram? A loser, 30-year-olds. I'm 52, but ever since the scrotum lift, I look 51 and 7 eighths. In the 1970s, 92% of 30-year-olds in the U.S. earned more than their parents did at the same age. Today, that percentage is 51%. The culprit is a slowdown in economic growth and the widening income gap between the wealthy and the rest of society. Another reality for young adults, they're more likely to be living with their parents. I was discussing this last night with my mother as she was tucking me in. I love living with my boys, ages six and nine. I'm trying to teach a connection between effort and money, and every morning they get five bucks for doing their chores, and then twice a year I mug them on their way to their room as I think it's important that I teach them life lessons. We'll see you next week.